the Crisp Memorial Chase is next. This is over three miles. Let's do that Sligo. And it's still 0 to 110. Nashville decrees at the top for Vinnie Gerard, Lord of the Vinda for Padre Hogan, Ozark Daisy, Vinnie Gerard, Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry, Cirque Martin, the Latte Sergeant, Padre Hogan, Isle of My Brick, Kevin Minahan, and Tail and Invincibility Duplex, both for Stu Gray. So nine of them in this then, and away they go. And Rab Corbett is the first to show from Cirque in second. Lord of the Vinder and Latte Sergeant as they sort themselves out past the winning post then they've got three complete circuits of the track ahead of them and Rab Corbett is the leader so they don't get dizzy and Ozark Days is in second Latte Sergeant is third and then Lord of the Vinder and the leader stood so far off that was almost in another county when he took off He's gone away with it, okay, and Rab Corbett continues to lead. From Latte, Latte Sergeant and Lord of the Vinda. And Ozark Daisy and Invincibility Duplex. I love my brick tail. Cirque. And finally, Nashville Decree. So, over the second they go. Once again, we've got three trainers double handed in this as they get over the third. That's a big ditch. And we'll safely over that with Rap Corbett setting a clear lead in a good pace and leading by five lengths to Invincibility Duplex in second, Lord of the Vinder back in third, Ozark Daisy fourth, one of my brick fifth, then Tail and Circle, Latte Sergeant, and finally Nashville Decree at the back. And then to the next one, then Rab Corbett runs straight into that one. Lead is now down to two lengths. With Invincibility Duplex second, Ozark Daisy third. Then Lord of the Vinda. And Latter Sergeant as they get into the next one. And a mistake by Old Mod Brick towards the back for Kevin Minaho. So past the big screen. I'm not sure what that is on the big screen. Weird sort of pattern. Anyway, Rab Corbett in front, Invincibility Duplex second, Ozark Daisy of Vinnie Gerard third, the Padraig Hogan pair, Sheer in fourth, that's Lord of the Vinder and Latte Sergeant, Cirque is widest on the track on his inside his tail as they get over the sixth, and they're all safely over the sixth. Well, again, one or two of them are a bit scruffy looking in their jumping, but Rab Corbett continues to lead by two lengths to. Invincibility duplex for Stu Gray in second, and a gap, or a similar gap between the first and the second, between the second and the third. Ozark Daisy in third for Vinnie Gerard as they get to the next, and over that one they go in fourth place. Latter Sergeant for Patrick Hogan, and a little gap to the rest of them are just about headed by tail on the inside of Cirque as they get over that ditch, and all safely over the ditch with Nashville Decree the top weight now the back marker, and Rab Corbett. Continuing to lead. Leads by a good four lengths to Invincibility Duplex in second. Ozark Daisy is third, Latte Sergeant back in fourth. And I love my brick is keep creeping closer than Tail and Lord of the Vinder as they get over the next. With Cirque and Nashville Decree the back two. Over the 10th they go. We'll safely over the 10th. I love my brick jump that one. Really nice give a Kevin Mean Andrew did a fourth in the orange cap. And it's Ralph Corbett. It's also got an orange cap in the lead as they pass the winning post then. One more circuit to go. Seven and a half furlong trap Sligo. And Ralph Corbett is three lengths clear of Invincibility Duplex in second. Ozark Daisy's back in third. Then comes Latte Sergeant. Then comes Lord of the Vinder and then Olive Mob Brick and then Tail and then Circus now switch to the inside and finally Nashville Decrees the Tail and Charlie as they race 
down towards the next. I know that one they go and just he was making a move there. The Vinnie Gerald calls those up. Daisy made a mistake, but the pace is definitely quicker now than as they're on this final circuit. Array Rub Corbett is clear by two to Invincibility Duplex and Ozark Daisy. Then comes Latte Sergeant, then Lord of the Vinda, then Nashville de Cruz may getting closer. Tail is next. Cirque is trapped in a pocket as they get over number 12. And the back marker is now I love my brick. He was going really nicely a minute ago and now drop right out to last. But it's Rab Corbett in the lead over the third last. The final bit's better jump by Latte Sergeant over it in second. Then Invincibility Duplex. Then comes Ozark Daisy. Nashville de Cruz is running on really nicely from the back. They've still got three furlongs to go, and they've still got two to jump, but Latte Sergeant has now come through to take it up. It's Latte Sergeant in the lead. Rab Corbett now starts to beat a retreat as Invincibility Duplex goes past him into second. Ozark Daisy and Nashville de Cruz running on. So too's Lord of the Vinder. I think we can forget the rest over the second last. And it's Latte Sergeant who's over it in the lead from Invincibility Duplex in second. Then comes Rab Corbett, Ozark Daisy and Nashville de Cruz trying to run on, but this is Latte Sergeant who's well clear and surely only has to jump the last to take it. Latte Sergeant pops over it nicely. Good jump by Invincibility Duplex in second who's now trying to motor but the leader, Jockey takes a little look round. He's not going to be caught. Cool. Latte Sergeant is going to take the Chris Memorial and Latte Sergeant wins it. Invincibility Duplex is second and he close for third but Ramsey Nesbitt just held on from the fast finishing Lord of the Vinder. Uh, all of my brick was last. Padraig Hogan picks up another winner. And as Graham Clutterbuck said in the preview shows last week, it'll be a force to reckon we reckon with next season, he reckons. And he's certainly climbing towards the top. So Latte Sergeant for Padraig Hogan wins it. Invincibility Duplex was two grey second. Rab Corbett for Alex Cherry was third. Nashville Decree Vinicius on fourth. And Lord of the Vinder for Padraig Hogan was fifth. <laughs>